Hi guys, Luton here, I'm back for some more Armour 3. Now today we're taking a look at the AMV-7 Marshall. This is an armoured personnel carrier. It's also an amphibious vehicle, meaning it can go on land and in the water. It's pretty powerful, but it's quite slow. But you'll find that depending on what kind of ground you're on, it'll move a little bit quicker. In the water, it is quite slow, it's got to be said. But that actually is not a bad thing when you're trying to aim at targets. It provides some stability. Um, and as I say, it's an armoured personnel carrier. It can carry up to eight troops in the back of the vehicle, as well as having the driver and the gunner. So that's ten in total you can carry. Um, it's armaments, you've got basically a cannon and machine gun there, it's a 40mm cannon and it carries um, explosive and armour penetrating rounds, you carry 60 of the explosive and 40 of the armour piercing um, and it's also got 2000 rounds of 6.5mm uh, machine gun rounds which is pretty powerful as well. Uh, the gunner has got his four optic ranges so you've got the standard, you've got night vision and then two thermal uh, optics on there as well so that's very very good for being able to spot out targets. So let's have a look at it in action. Now what I've got today is I've got a couple of little clips um, and then I've got two sort of small live comm sections at the end here which are allowed to just run on so it gives you an idea of it in use. So we're back at Stratus base here and uh, we're taking the Mariner right here in this mission. So you can see we just plow straight into the water here, no problem, just getting straight on in there. And on the back of the Marshall you've got these two propellers uh, which drive the vehicle forward through the water. Gives you good sort of turning ability. Um, it's great in the water this thing, you'll see in a, a minute as well when you go to turn it actually kind of slides in the water so it has this kind of rock with it. So it actually it doesn't just sort of turn on the dot and also you can see it's got some side lighting here. You can see under the water even, you can see down there it's got little side lights on. Um, but it's it's got a real powerful range here. The gunner has his zoom optic option which you can adjust using the plus minus keys like you would for sniper rifles or the SOS scope um, and other vehicles like for example the minigun and so on. Um, it, so it gives you amazing range. The gunner itself, the main cannon, um, it actually has a range finder built in. So when you're firing, you can see the range of the targets you're firing at, and then using the page up and down keys, you can adjust your sort of range on the weapon itself, which allows you for, to have pinpoint accuracy, basically. And you can see here, so we're moving up forward. That was before to just show you kind of how it handles in the water. But coming up in a moment, I'm engaging some targets up on the hill here. But um, that's basically it, really. That's all you need to know. It's pretty si simple, pretty straightforward. Um, it's an extremely powerful vehicle. It's very good in support. Um, but as I say, if you do encounter enemy, enemy armor troops, and they're going to be firing those missiles at you, AT missiles, one hit you're going to be down all right so it is a one hit kill if you take the right kind of missile round at you but light arms fire and so on explosive rounds as well probably not going to be so damaging to you You can probably take a little bit of a hit there uh, but if you do take any armor piercing missiles you're going to be going down so coming up in a moment i just wanted to show right here as well um, you can see look as we start to turn See how he kind of slides in the water there? See how he just kind of rocks around? It's really awesome the way this thing moves in the water. It's a really, really great feeling. And I'm going to talk just over a little bit of the first section right here where we start to fire, just to kind of give you an idea. This thing is a beast. It's so powerful. It really hits like a truck. Um, you can snipe targets. The only thing that lets it down a little bit is its sort of low amount of rounds. You only have, as say, uh, 60 rounds of the explosive and 40 rounds on the uh, armor piercing. But look at this. You can really see how we're thrashing these guys down. So right now I'm kind of, you can see the rangefinder just below the crosshair there, sort of constantly adjusting as I look around for targets. And I'm on the uh, thermal one vision right here. But once you've got your range set, there is no kind of, there's no recoil whatsoever on this weapon, not like with the boat. Uh, you guys may have seen me on the um, assault boat recently trying to fire that gun there, and that thing kicks around all over the place. This thing, watch it, just no recoil whatsoever. You can snipe targets at massive, massive ranges. You can hit targets accurately at 900, 1000 meters, no problem whatsoever. I mean, we're firing at a range here that's about 600 meters so it's not particularly far but long long ranges no problem whatsoever if you just adjust the uh, calibration on the weapon itself according to the range you're gonna hit those things no problem whatsoever so it's a really really good weapon if you have a huge amount of enemy troops you're definitely gonna want to be engaging at range rather than close up because as I say there is that danger that if they have uh, anti-tank personnel they're gonna be taking you down very very fast so keeping it at range and it's a support vehicle really okay you want to have your infantry going forward and then this thing there 
that. But if you, you know, if you really need a hard push, then you can, you know, really drive this thing in there, get the machine guns firing, and maybe you'll you'll sort of succeed. But definitely, it's really good at massive, massive ranges, and you want to be engaging those troops without them having any chance to return fire. All right, guys. So enjoy the rest of the live com, and it'll give you a good little idea, good heads up on on how this thing can handle out in the field. Thanks for watching guys, and if you've enjoyed it as always, drop me a little like there. I'll have some more Armour 3 content coming up very soon. See you next time. It's about how the, it's the propellers and stuff that we're using, that's why it's a different sound. And also I said that um, this thing is ridiculous, there's like no recoil in it whatsoever. It might be slow, but this thing hits like a truck, seriously. Well yeah, it's got all that weight, it's got quite a bit of stability. Right, I got some contact. It's fine, you can keep going. Okay. Contact, top of the hill. Yeah, you're looking at him right now. He's an effort. Oh, yeah, I see it now. There you go. Two hits, three. Oh, he's gone, missile. Awesome, easy prize. Right. Which direction do you guys want to go there? Keep on the Yeah. Two, yeah. I'll follow you with a short distance. If you might need my services, I'll be able to give them to you. Yeah, I see enemies. Yeah, I got Trace on the top of that ridge. Oh crap, I fell off my car again. There, hit that guy on the foot there. Hit that, hit that vehicle there. The um, building. Where? Right ridge. Where? Where? I saw enemies moving to that building. There, there, there. See him? Now that looks like human Where? players. Where? Sorry? The there building, the building, right to the right. Look, east. Or south. Yeah, because there's a and too many a. Yeah, blow the crap. Use the forty mil. But I have to take the truck. Uh, no, no, look, see that tracer fire. Hit that building. Hit that building now. Yeah, hit it. There's enemy units in that building. Yeah, see, see, that's enemy. Target down, target down. There's more in that building. Check it. Just level that building. Yeah, well, I don't got enough uh, bullets. Oh, have you not got enough rounds? Okay, all right. Let's move up here. I just want to save it for the trucks, you know. Yeah, watch that. AA unit. I saw it down in the valley right, right here. Do you want to go deal with that? Then I can't really explain it. Bearing one two five. No, one three zero. The LZ today. To the west, you're talking about. It's in the, in the dip corner of this valley right here. Strike, we're going to go uh, over the other side of this hill and then down, and there should be targets below us. On the road. Yeah, I can't aim down. Can't That's aim right, down. I know that, I know That's that. Right. I'm going to take us down there. So be advised, just to our right down here in the dip of this valley, there should be an AA team. Right, careful now. I see him moving, see that target. Bearing. I've had to approach. 170, 170, moving through the trees. Thanks, mate. They're over here on the right as well. Target down. Okay, uh, one more, one more. To the right of that guy. Between the trees. Turn right, 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 right. He's moving across the valley. See him? Running. Yeah, that's it. There's another two, another two there as well. He's moving forward. There's another two down there.
One guy still moving uh, down there. Two, two yeah, targets here. Yeah. yeah, I'm waiting. He might be able to see as soon as we uh, breach over this. Oh yeah. Left side of the Hesco barrier is where it was. Can you see yeah, it? I've got, I've got oh, I got a couple of contacts, yeah. but that's not the mortar unit, it's the other. Yeah. There, there it is to the left. Go up a bit more. The other yep, side yep. of this tree. I see it. I see the second set. That's it. Right, hold. Yep. Three units to the right. I like how they just Three. stand there and take it. Yeah, they're not this smart. Hit. Hit. Uh, one's behind that tree between us and the Hesco barrier. Off to the right. Yeah, no. Whoa! Whoa! What the friendly rocket just uh, impacted <laughs> from the other side of Hesco's. Almost thought it was an outbound rocket. Yeah, I thought that was as well. Scared me like shit. That's what it looked like to me. Can you get any more height? Huh? Uh, yeah, we can go up this. It just might take us a couple seconds. Yeah, even That's up okay. this hill, we're going 14, so we... Yeah, this we thing's did. a beast. The amount of horsepower this thing has... Yeah, seriously. Alright, hold it, hold. Target down. One more, hold on. Oh, he fell hard off nice. that. Oh, I've got two more, hold on. Incoming helicopter. Two targets down. He's seriously dropping them right there. Alright. I think, hold on, I'm going to uh, heat vision. Yeah, I'm going to go up a slight bit so we can, might be able to get like over there. How he landed so things. close. I tell you what this yeah. is, this is Amentes wanting to like get in on the, uh, get in on the video. <laughs> Fire on the opposite side of the Hesco barriers. The far side, yeah, I see I, the, uh, I see him actually. He's poking his head over the, uh, Ship. He's down. Yeah. Oh, I see one more. There it goes. Was that friendly? Is that friendly? No. I have no idea where you look. Oh, off to the left. Oh. No, he's I not friendly. No, 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 he's not. Okay, I see who you're looking at. Yeah, I think that's a friendly, the one you're looking at right now, but I'm not sure. I can't see. No, in. look at the map. There's no friendlies over there, is there? Uh, yeah, they just dropped some people off. Oh shit! Oh, no, they're not on the map. Just went down. How they just went down? Yeah, I see our. Fr I see one of our guys actually over there. I don't know about in that general area, but there is. We're gonna have to go repair that helicopter. No, hold up. They're not friendlies. They're not friendlies. Hold on. Hold on. Just yeah, hold take them position. out. Yeah, that's fine. I can't take it, but what I can do... Target, target, target! Fun. Target! What? That's terrifying! Oh God. Oh God. Go away! No one loves you. Did you kill him? Did you kill him? He's right there. Fucking hell, man. Seriously? <laughs> How did we survive? That is crazy. They spawning here. Oh, Let's get yeah, out. Yeah, Let's get out of here, dude. I think I'm good here, yeah. Let's get the crap out of here, man. <laughs> why am I zoomed in? Oh, that's why. There we go. <laughs> Seriously, Jesus Christ. Jesus, dude, they are not happy that I tried to take. Let's get out of here. here. Let's get out of here. <laughs> were they still? Th were they there? I don't know. Oh, now there's another one. Straight on our six. He's, oh god, there's one inside the camp. And then there's one to the right of the camp. Just right? Yeah, there you 
Yeah, he's not happy. He just lost a GP at us. It looks like it. Holy crap. I was not expecting that. <laughs> they were really not pleased. No. I wasn't expecting that many as well. That first one was like, oh, okay, we just missed one. This hold position, hold, hold, hold. Thank God they suck at aiming. Just hold this, hold this. Back it up a little bit. Yep. Stop. Yep. Down. Down. Okay, let's go. 